Hello, everyone, and welcome to WCN World News. Tokyo Governor Yoichi Masuzoe recently spoke at the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan and laid out his plan on making Tokyo an international financial hub. Now, along with this urban renewal project, we will transform Tokyo into a global business center that attracts human resources, capital, and information from around the world. WCN asked if that included making Tokyo a more English-speaking friendly city. Plus, it's no secret Japan and China have their differences, but how does the Chinese government honestly feel about Prime Minister Shinzo Abe? Stay tuned as the governor tells us. Asian financial hubs typically have a pretty good uh, competency of the English language. Yes. So is there any plan or ambition to match that with Tokyo? Yeah, you know, the my uh, policy is uh, from Singapore back to Tokyo, any kind of hub, <laughs> you know, the uh, this kind of financial market. So for example, as far as Tokyo government is concerned, if you or uh, if some foreign entrepreneur who cannot speak Japanese at all can make companies very easily, you can write all papers in English, no problem. And so-called one-stop service. You go to my office, my office, I mean Tokyo government office, everything is done on that system. We are moving in that direction. So, of course, the uh, not only English, multi-language response uh, is uh, uh, now we are preparing. So anyway, uh, we will make uh, our society, uh, you know, to English understood very, very easily. This is one of the measures that I made. Okay, okay great. Also, knowing that I'm a very close friend of Mr. Abe, uh, Chinese and South Korean governments say everything that they like, very severe estimation of uh, Abe's administration. So on my return back to, uh, you know, Beijing, I said directly to Mr. Abe, your estimation is so low, and, uh, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Chinese government is so severely Christian to you that this is a situation that you, uh, you are surrounded. This I, I convened.